Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Zade here with another episode of Zade's Experience. Today, I wanted to come and talk to you guys about a supplement that is very near and dear to my heart, um, especially right now since I'm doing my whole fat loss challenge. This is the perfect supplement to add to your stack. If you guys are suffering from any mental decline or you feeling like you're just out of it all the time, this is definitely a supplement that's going to help you guys out. So stick around and check what this is all about. So the supplement that I'm talking about is phosphatidylcholine. Now, one of the reasons why it's very near and dear to my heart is because about two to three years back, I started really looking into nootropics because I started noticing a cognitive decline. I started noticing that I just couldn't remember things. I couldn't remember names. I couldn't remember dates as well. And that has never been a great part of who I am. I just always had a hard time remembering these things. And so I started looking into nootropics. Nootropics started to explode everywhere. You know, Alpha Brain, Cognizant, all these different things just started exploding into the market. And I said, hey, why not? Let me see if I can give it a shot. And and lo and behold, a lot of them did help, but none of them helped out as much at recalling things or bumping up my mental acuity more than phosphatidylcholine. Now, phosphatidylcholine can be produced in the brain, but you mainly get it through food sources such as eggs. Eggs are a great source of choline and a couple of other nuts and seeds, but eggs are the king of getting choline. Everything else just doesn't even come like even remotely close. So if you want to get it from a natural source, I would highly, highly suggest that you get it from eggs. It is very bioavailable. It is very easy for the body to go ahead and process that. The way you find it in eggs is as phosphatidylcholine, which then gets gets turned into acetylcholine and then gets broken down into many different other ways because the body gobbles it up guys it the body requires it so that's why we actually created we we actually make it in. but if you are looking for a supplement that has this and these are the ones that help me out the most you're looking for acetylcholine and alpha gpc the first one is acetylcholine again both of these are derived from phosphatidylcholine so col phosphatidylcholine is how you would find it in eggs and then acetylcholine is just a way of phosphatidylcholine getting broken down and then alpha gpc is even further broken down so it's a super super bioavailable form but they have a little bit different effects so let me talk to you about those so acetylcholine is very very great if you're having problems focusing if your alertness is down if you just feel like you're like brain dead all the time which was happening to me quite a bit and i just felt uh you have trouble recalling things acetylcholine is great for these things so if you're looking for alertness focusness enhancing your learning increasing your your brain's overall energy or just getting a cognitive boost this is for you acetylcholine is for you now the second one that i usually pair this up with because this is this is what i mostly do guys once i started finding out that this really really worked for me i said well how can i take this even further I started pairing it with one of its byproducts, which is alpha GPC. Alpha GPC, all it is, acetylcholine getting even further broken down into alpha GPC. Once again, our brain makes some of this, but not enough. It is made by brain clusters in, in regions of our brain, but we can also get it through food, which is the super important part. But alpha GPC, you can get it in so small trace amounts that it's not even worth really attempting to get it through food. So what you would normally do is get phosphatidylcholine or a choline supplement, and that would be your best bet. And then hoping your body breaks it down to acetylcholine and then from acetylcholine, potentially activating the pathway of alpha GPC by breaking it further down. So what are the different between alpha GPC and acetylcholine. Why would I want to get acetylcholine versus alpha GPC? I like to think about it this way. Acetylcholine and alpha GPC have a lot of places where they have the same benefits. So alertness, focusness, getting an edge to try to learn things, increasing brain energy, they all intersect at that point. So both of them will give you that. But I think to different degrees. I think acetylcholine is very, very good at that. And alpha GPC is better at some other things. Although it does some of that, I don't think it does it to the same degree. But what it does do is if you are an athlete, this is where you might benefit at taking alpha GPC. Alpha GPC has shown or is starting to show on several trials that it helps out with cardiovascular disease. 
improving visual acuity. It also has a vas uh, cardiovascular protective component that they're starting to find along with the prevention of potential Alzheimer's. So a lot of al people that are being treated for Alzheimer's are being given alpha GPC in some trials and they're having a lot of good results in preventing cognitive decline, which I think is super cool. But something that was found very recently and this has not been fully studied or it is not fully understood is that it's, it helps activate growth hormone which is super awesome if you're an athlete you're basically getting a little bit of a, a a boost in your in your hormones which if you're pretty run down if you are having a hard time you know at the gym or something like that can potentially help your gains whatever your goal is you know growth hormone is great for a, a number of things since it does that it also signals that it can help out with recovery this is great in many ways I actually take it because of a couple of reasons but one of the main reasons is I find it a little bit different from acetyl choline is alpha GPC gives me a little bit of a more calm feel which is a little hard to describe but acetylcholine kind of turns my mind on to be very focused very active and it helps me get things done that's the thing that I do if I if I need things done however alpha GPC especially when it's like a sparring session when I have a like a tough sparring session and I know there's gonna be assassins there that people that I know I need to watch out for or today's just not my day and I don't have my a game you know and I still want to go into class and I still want to do my thing I take alpha GPC and alpha GPC changes me from all these like oh I don't feel great today to Okay, let's do this. And it is amazing, guys. So once again, both of these compounds are natural compounds that you can find in food, and the brain even produces them. So don't think you're getting something that's like, ooh, I'm taking like, you know, some form of a drug. You're not taking a drug. It was one of them is just found in food. Let's face it, a lot of us, there's so much variety of food this, these days, and a lot of it is so processed that we don't know exactly what we are getting or why we need to get that food for. But if you eat with a goal in mind, such as, you know what, I wanna eat to get more of this. In this case, I wanna eat more eggs so I can get more choline, so my body can break it down, so I can turn into acetylcholine. That way I can give myself a mental edge. Now you see how you can look at food differently. And that's what I do. That's why every day I try to eat eggs so I can get that boost. So what I take on a daily basis is phosphatidylcholine that I take every day there's no question about it 1000 milligrams of it or one gram two I take acetylcholine acetylcholine I started putting into my regimen on the daily basis now as of very recently again my cognitive decline has gotten a little bit worse over time especially right now since I'm doing a fat loss challenge that is that is super detrimental to your brain I mean you're literally taking fat out of your brain so whatever you can give it to go ahead and help it out especially to keep me active and keep me <laughs> from not getting fired from my job because I'm going in uh, just all brain dead then I'll do anything for, for that you know so for acetylcholine I will only take 200 to 300 milligrams per day and that is just about it that is all my brain requires because I again I also eat eggs on the side and that really helps me out I think and now for alpha GPC alpha GPC I tend to use only 300 milligrams on the daily and this is the reason why studies have found that if you use acetylcholine and alpha GPC together it is a really cool compounding effect and people tend to have way more success that way than by taking one of them alone like I said, it, it turns on different neural pathways. I think this is a perfect stack for me. I think it works great for me. And if you guys are having troubles with any cognitive decline, you're going through a diet such as mine, you're trying to cut out a bunch of fat and you feel like you're just out of it and you need to be in tip top shape for your work, I highly recommend this. Both of these are highly studied supplements that I think if anything, I think I believe they are the most studied supplements in regards to cognitive function. I believe they, they are like at the top of the list, if I'm not mistaken. So definitely go ahead and give them a shot. But thanks for joining me on another episode today, guys. Just wanted to put this out to the ether. You know, I know there's a lot of people out there having problems with cognitive function. So why not go ahead and help out with whatever knowledge I have. But you guys know the drill. Comment if you like, subs if you loved it. And I will be seeing you on the next video, guys. Say out. Peace.